Harterton Halls near Luton was the venue for a British Vintage Wireless Society meeting. The special guest at the event was the old Harefield TV outside broadcast van. Sporting a new paint job and many hours of work, the van looked very different to when it left Harefield. The exterior changes may be mainly cosmetic, but it's the inside where the real work has been going on. The monitor stack now boasts working monitors, where in recent years it had only seen rusting carcasses. The sound gallery looks almost untouched, but a bit cleaner than when it left. The only difference? It was working faultlessly now. The biggest change of all is at the back of the truck. This is where the heart of the electronics beat. The camera remote control panels spanning nearly 40 years of history are the first hint of how much has changed. Paul hires out the van for film and television dramas. Having cameras that will be historically accurate from the late 80s right the way back to the 1960s makes it very attractive. The only rule is the cameras must be made by Marconi. It's now gained a VT machine alongside its old matrix, but what else has it been doing? It starred in a television programme. <laughs> it starred in an episode of the Royal, the Christmas episode in 2003, for which it received the uh, paint job, the blue, white and silver. It was done at very short notice, like eight days, to get the thing ready to go up to Scarborough to shoot the programme. Um, that was a big step forward. It drove us into getting a lot of things ready. Um, since then it's done a couple of other shows and each time it does a show something advances. So for today's show um, we've actually been round and got more of the cameras working so we've got a Marconi Mark 10, a Marconi Mark 4, a Marconi Mark 5, they're all working perfectly. The monitors are nearly all working properly now. Uh, so much cable going under the floor. Um, there's a huge amount of work still to do but I reckon it's probably at about 65% completion. We've had a new set of tyres recently, that was very expensive, very, very expensive. <coughs> and also we had some problems with the engine, but we've got over those. So we're looking at a vehicle that's basically sound now, I think, um, and electronics is coming along nicely. Still a long way to go. Outside the truck, Paul was showing off the new cameras. The oldest was a fully working Marconi Mark IV. This black and white camera comes from an era before the invention of the zoom lens so four lenses were mounted on a rotating turret. The Marconi Mark V was another black and white camera, but this one bearing an uncanny resemblance to its younger brother, the colour Mark VII, that originally came with the van. With all this effort going on to restore the vehicle, how much is it being used? So we're hoping to take it to Lincolnshire Steam and Vintage Vehicle Rally in August. Well, it will be going. And then probably down to the Marconi company, what's left of it, uh, back to where it was born, as it were, uh, in October, back to Building 720, New Street Works. Um, they don't know that yet, but uh, uh, there will be no problem. <laughs> uh, they'll only be too pleased, I think. Um, so, yeah, it, it's not out every week, but... We can't cope with it anyway because I've got another vehicle to look after plus the rest of the collection, a full-time job. Um, there's a limit to what you can do. As Sam the driver squeezed this very large piece of television history out of the small parking bay and down the narrow road without doing too much damage to the local vegetation, it was clear that nearly 40 years on, this old van still has a long way to go.